Hey, it's Amy from Sumi Designs, and I want to talk to you about vlogging. So what exactly is vlogging? Vlogging is video blogging. So we take video, we take blogging, we put them together. And so instead of writing a traditional blog post, you are going to have a video blog post. So it's still going to be posted to your website. It's still going to um, be in a blog post, but it's going to be a video. So why should you consider doing a video blog? Well, back when blogging kind of was in its heyday, around I would say 2004, 2005, what everybody did, we consumed content via blogs and we had feed readers and we would add the websites we wanted to subscribe to, to those feed readers. Um, and every morning I would get up, get my coffee and I'd go and I'd go to my feed reader and I'd see which websites had updates. And then I'd go through and read all my blogs and stay up to date on all this content. And so you never missed a post. Well, Google Reader died. Um, people have stopped consuming content in that way. So you can have a great blog, and I'm specifically talking about blogging for business. You can have a great blog, but people aren't just going to go and check it every day to see that you have new content. And if they're not subscribed, they're not going to know you have new content most of the time. You can put it out on social media, but people are, they're busy, they're active, they're everywhere. So adding YouTube is going to be a great way to build new subscribers and to find new followers um, because people are consuming content in a different way. So another question I get asked is why should you have a video blog? Well, a video blog allows you to connect with your customers on a different level. Yes, I can write a lot of text. I can write a lot of content that's great for SEO. That's what Google wants to see. Um, but it, what is not gonna happen when people are reading text is they're not gonna get that emotional connection. They're not gonna see your face. They're not gonna hear your voice. So they're not gonna get the same level of trust that they're gonna have if you have a video. So when you make a video, you wanna make sure that your voice and your personality come through. So a few tips I have for you to get started on your vlog. Number one, um, if you're using a camera, I would invest in a tripod because when you're trying to do your videos and you're doing this, it's gonna get shaky, it's gonna be hard. That's, uh, you know, I'm not a professional videographer. So I'm just using my webcam um, because that's what works for me today. But if you're gonna use a camera, you're gonna be out in the field, invest in a tripod, it's gonna make a difference. The other thing I would recommend is don't spend, you know, five minutes having an intro, you know, a cool, you know, slides, photos, music, all that stuff. I get so frustrated when I go to a video that I want to watch and I have to sit there for two minutes and wait for the intro to be over. Yes, you can have a little slide in, branding, whatever, but um, spending all that time waiting for somebody to actually give me the content I want is annoying. So get to the point. What do you need to think about when you're starting your video blog? Number one, where and how are you gonna do it? Is it gonna be a screencast? Is it gonna be done with a video camera? Do you have um, you know, just a webcam like I'm using? There are a lot of different options to consider and you need to consider also what content you wanna share, how you're gonna inform your subscribers and what value they're gonna get from it. If your blog doesn't have value, then you're not gonna get followers and you're not gonna get subscribers. How long should my vlog be? I'm of the opinion that people have very short attention spans these days, so I recommend you keeping it five to 10 minutes at the most, unless you have something really in depth and really detailed that you wanna share that's gonna take longer. These can be five to 10 minute videos that people can take a look at, get what they want, and then close it out and be done. So how often should you vlog? Well, when it comes to vlogging, you need to have consistency. So just doing one and then never doing another one again is not a great idea. So I recommend you pick a schedule that works for you and stick to it. It doesn't have to be daily. It doesn't have to be weekly. Um, just doing one a month would even be beneficial to your website and your traffic. Um, but don't just make one and, and forget. Come up with a schedule, stick to it. It is great to have a video on your blog post, but you need to have content too. So here are the basic steps to having a video blog. Number one, create, figure out what you want your content to be. Record your vlog, edit it, upload it to your site, and you can easily do this with Gutenberg, and here's how. It's really easy to add your video to your blog post, so you log into your website. Um, your WordPress website, and all you need to have is the URL for your YouTube video. So I'm using Gutenberg in WordPress, so I'm just going to click on my little plus sign, and I'm going to go down here to Embeds and choose YouTube. Then all I have to do is paste in the link for my YouTube video and hit Embed, 
and voila, my video shows up right in my blog post. And then next you're ready to publish. Oh, but wait, there's one more step. It's important to publish your video to your website, but it's also important to include a transcript. So you're going to want to write up an intro, what your video is about, share the video, and then include a video transcript. Why would we include a video transcript if we just have the video? Well, number one, uh, it's really important for Google and for, for SEO purposes to have content in your blog post. Google can't index the words that you're saying in your video. They know you have a video. They know that video is on YouTube, which they also own. So the, all of that is great for SEO, but you also need to have words with your blog post. Having a transcript is going to be the better way to drive people to your website from Google, from organic Google searches. So add the video, add the transcript. You can use a service like temi.com, which is an automated transcription thing. It costs like four bucks, depending on how long your video is. Pretty easy. You're going to need to clean it up. It's a ro you know, robot transcription um, service, but it gets you started. So then you add it to your blog and you publish. And now you've got video content on YouTube. You've got written content on your blog. This is a win-win in all situations. Got questions about blogging? Why don't you subscribe and I'll answer them in another post. Bye.